Good morning, everybody. I would like to discuss um, a few things today. I want to talk about subprime lending, how it works, and how to set up some of the expectations to that. I also want to talk about the three solutions that we have at Improvify. I want to clear some things up, and I think that this video will really help some people. Okay, so, um, geez, what should we talk about first? All right, let's talk about subprime lending, because it just came up in a scenario that I was dealing with. So, my risk base pricing goes down to a 550. There's five tiers. It doesn't mean that every single customer with a 550 or 551 credit score is going to get approved because they could have an entire life history behind that 550. What do I mean? Like they could have a bankruptcy. They could have 16 mortgage lates and they're just about to lose their house. They could have defaults. Their, could, their debt to ra ratio income could be 95%. Like just because somebody has a 550 credit score and my lending goes down to a 550 risk-based pricing doesn't mean they're gonna get approved. If somebody has a 575 and there's no issues on the back end and their debt to income ratios are, there's a good chance that they can get approved, but there's no guarantees in life. Now, most lenders right now are prime to super prime and that's it. And when I talk um, prime, I'm talking a 700 credit score. Super prime is an 850. And keep that in mind. If you're prime lenders out there, they don't want risky paper because the defaults are crazy. So there's very few subprime people that'll even entertain a risk-based price of something in the 500s. So if your customer does get that, they're lucky and they should be super thankful no matter what the interest rate is, no matter what a dealer fee would be on that, they should be thankful that they got that. So hope, hopefully that clears it up. Just because a lender says and has five tiers in its risk-based price doesn't mean that they're necessarily gonna buy that paper each and every time. There's a lot of things on the back end of a loan that underwriters and credit risk still have to come into consideration to get that approval. So let's, let's keep that in mind. And that's why I've separated the programs and Improvify because I don't want you running super prime and prime people with subprime um, challenged credit customers. I want them to understand that, hey, we did a soft credit poll and we couldn't get you approved on prime to super prime. So we're taking you to our second look lender now to see if we can get you approved on folks that may have less than prime credit. They need to know and feel a little bit of the pain that they don't have the greatest credit in the world, but you're willing to help them and give them a shot to see if you can get them financing. You have to educate them and have this conversation and be super confident when you present this that you're there to help consult and help get them lending and help get this, this deal done for them. They need to know that you're working for them, okay? So that's that in a baseball bat. Okay, hopefully that clears something up. Now let's talk about the three solutions. We have unsecured lending, we have direct to consumer, and we have secured. And I believe we're the only lender company in the, in the nation that has all three of these solutions that you can offer customers financing at the point of sale and at the point of need. Because I've got teams in each one of those and technology in each one of those buckets to help get you loans facilitated at the point of need, even if it's secured. Because I could do a closed end second high loan, I call it a home improvement loan that's secured and we give them future appraised value of the remodeling um, project that they're looking to do. Now those loans I like to do $75,000 north. Um, they are secured loans, but there are some situations where we've gotten um, some secured loans done when, when the folks couldn't get unsecured at a $36,000 roof down in Texas, a metal roof down there. And we, got the, we did some debt consolidation and we did the $36,000 roof and we got the deal done. Direct to consumer, it means just that. A consumer can apply through our technology and they can get the loan from the lender and the money goes to the consumer and then the consumer pays you the contractor. Who would wanna use something like that? Guys that just say, Chris, I ain't paying a dealer fee. I'm not building in 3% or 5% into my pricing. I want no dealer fee pre programs only. I don't care that, my, that I've lost control at the point of sale. I just want my customers to get the money and pay me for the project. That usually works well for uh, fencing guys and painters and gutter guys that are kind of, and maybe electric, maybe some plumbing. Guys that are doing some smaller projects that are like under five grand. Direct to consumer works really well for them because look, we're not talking large ticket items. We're talking five grand and under. Now, 
on secured lending is a different story. You want to maintain control at the point of sale to help the customers with affordability, with a soft credit pull, and you want to drive the machine, and you want to get the money directly into your ACH account, and you want to do this on a soft credit pull so you're not affecting their credit score. Those are the three programs. Unsecured lending from 1,000 to 100,000, you're in control. You choose the programs. You've got the no dealer fee programs. You've got the dealer fee programs that you can build into your margins. Direct to consumer, smaller loan amounts on, with contractors to just absolutely say, Chris, I don't care. I do maybe 10 deals a year and I'm not building in a dealer fee into my pricing. I just wanna have an outlet to send an application to a customer so they can get approved and then I'm gonna get the money from them on a draw process. Direct to, direct to consumer and then secured. When all else fails and we can go find some equity in the home to secure it against the house to get the job done. I like to do secured loans for large projects over $100,000, pools, outdoor living spaces, impact windows, real expensive stuff, stuff that um, kitchens and bath and design, um, ADUs, tiny homes. I love to do that stuff because I want them to get the future appraised value of the, of the improvement that they're putting on their property. So hopefully this helped. Today, as a recap, we talked about subprime. We talked about the 500 credit score customer and some of the challenges they may have on the back end and, and its risk-based price. I do trainings on all this stuff, so if you need more help, reach out to me. And then we talked about the three levels of financing that we can help you at Improvify. Unsecured, direct-to-consumer, and secured. If you need help and you want to get enrolled, reach out to me. I've got a link probably somewhere in this video, somewhere on this page, and we'll set up a consultation. We'll get you enrolled. We'll get you trained. We'll get your portal set up. We'll get your technology, and you can get out there and start selling and what you do, what you do best, install and get paid. So we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.